Hello everyone, it's Simran here. Welcome back to another video. So, I'm going to react to another fan-made Thomas story by the folks at Carson's Video Workshop. This one is written by The Kipper Runs Again, Den, and this one is called Light Work. Now this one, when Carson first te teased this video a couple of weeks back, is actually going to be is actually going to be a remaster of an older video he did back in the day, back in the in the twenty mid to late twenty tens he did before Trains two thousand nineteen came out. Nah, I did. Um, I've never seen the uh the or the original the original story, so I have no idea what this is about. But given the fact this is a remaster of the old of an old video that Carson did, it's going to be interesting to see how he. He's improved on the original version right here. So it has been a while since I've reacted to a video from Carson's YouTube channel, and that was um, a reluctant gift it was, I think, at the start of the year. If you want to see Mag that out, I have it up in the top right corner of your screen so we can see how long it is. is. And this is actually a project that he started back in November just before a reluctant gift came out. So that's interesting. So, yeah. Yeah, he challenged. He actually challenged himself to make to remake every aspect of the video with his own spin on it. So, uh, yeah, and you know what else? I so yeah, the Kipper runs again. He actually narrated quite a lot of stories for the video workshops back in twenty nineteen and twenty twenty when they did the switch over to uh, Train twenty nineteen, but even before then, right here. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, the Kipper runs. What how he the story. Is for the Kipper Runs again. This actually is quite a long video. It's actually over 17 minutes it is. You know what else I realised? Soddery Station Master is the narrator on this story. I literally looked in the description, and like last night it was, and I realised that Soddery Station Master is indeed the... the, the, um, the narrator for this story. I've reacted to several Soddery's stories on this channel it has, and the fact he's even narrating a video, a story for on the video workshop something i wasn't expecting it was right there so really excited to excited to hear to hear Sudbury's narration in a carson in a video workshop story where he really enjoys Sudbury's videos and has he joined the soda workshops team i don't know but i guess i, I guess i'll know i guess i'll know <laughs> i guess i'll know if Sudbury replies to this video he does but this is quite a long video, so enough of me rambling. Uh, links for you I'm reacting to in the description down below as always. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into this. I wanted, wanted to react to this video yesterday, but didn't get the opportunity. Am I going to have the uh, stuttering issues again? Yeah, I think I definitely am going to have... Every these stuttering summer, issues again. Sodor welcomes hundreds of holidaymakers. I so much issue to in a see reluctant him do. gift. Probably the processing of the video. Visitors love to camp in the valley. Actually, you know what? Let me actually try and go for a for a bit of a lower quality on this video. Maybe, maybe, maybe that will help if I just go for a little bit of a lower quality on this video. Some bathe on the beaches, and of course, ride the many famous railways. Now it was late August and the tourism season was winding down. All over the island, helped. people I've were packing their cases on this video. and preparing to head home. But before the monk was out, there was still one big event that everyone was looking forward to. The Bank Holiday Monday Firework Party. With the show starting just before midnight, I didn't know they so the that. controller always puts on a splendid display. There will be oh, cats and wheels, Roman oh, candles, did you see some of the models right there? We got Richard model. We've got don't, I think that's don't know. I think that's Fred. We got Bear. We got Fergus. Who else did we have right there? We have a Whiff model right Cat there. Wheels, we got Billy model. Roman candles and even sparkling dragons. But early that morning, the Sodor lighthouse keeper awoke to a worrying discovery. Bless my barnacles! He exclaimed. The bulb's gone. That won't do. Uh -oh. After all. The ships at sea don't stop for a jolly old knees up like everyone else. I'll have to get a replacement before tonight. He quickly telephoned the supply yard. Not to worry, the man answered. There were some spares okay, delivered only last week. Me going to a we'll have quality. a new one with you soon. Because it's not now. It's not now stuttering. It is. The lorry made good speed. 
that is until it reached the coastal road. Oh, it's one of the horrid lorries it is. Well, this takes the biscuit, rumbled the driver. What sort of work was start digging up the road on a bank holiday? Very efficient ones, suggested the lorry. We'll have to go back. There's no other way to reach the lighthouse by road. George with his face saying, it wasn't my idea. Then the driver spied a nearby phone box. Hang on, I think I know who to call. I'll give up. Who? Who does everyone on this island usually turn to when they're in trouble? The Fat Controller, of course. Yeah. Mm, we're supposed to be taking work from those engines, not giving it to them. That's really ah, made so my the horrid day lorries are a bit like bulgy they are. anti The Fat they Controller are. was at home when he got the call. What about Harold? He asked at first. Vintage air shown the mainland, you say? I see. Very well, he went on. In a light of the urgent situation, we must try. A delicate load such right a dish there. requires a steady engine. I'll send Edward to cut the ball. Ooh, Edward. Edward was delighted when he heard the news. I enjoy well, running this branch Stanley as much right as any there. engine, he said. It's obviously it's meant to be a, a story. The main line should make a pleasant change. Just make sure you're finished in time for the party tonight, laughed Ben. Yeah, we'll be the same without you telling us to behave, Bill teased. Donald was more serious. Hey, there's no mind, he advised. I say there's no sense in making a rush job of it. After all, it's only some silly flashes and bangs in the sky. Take care. No fear, smiled Edward. My rushing days are long past. Anyway, I'm sure I can take it steady and be back well before the party starts. Go on, steady! So the models of Stanley with Molly, Billy, isn't this story meant to be like one from the hit era? Any do us proud! Edward's the twins called after him. Story. They began to giggle, but a sharp frown from Donald sent them scurrying away. Oh, so it's meant to be like a hit era story. Percy taking off slow coach. Oh look, we got Ryan right there. Oh, we got City of Trio. Wow, really? On so this arrival, is what's been going on since a reluctant we gift. Looking flustered. We got Rocky. It's ridiculous, he fumed. The frack controller rigs up out of the blue and asks me to find a way of transporting this very special load. Look at the size of it. I've got coal trains and steel shipments to worry about. Never mind things like that. We'll be off as soon as you have it loaded, interrupted the fireman impatiently. That's the thing. No spare vans for it. Henry took all our extras from the Flying Kipper this morning. Oh. Oh, I'm sure it'll be safe enough on a flatbed, suggested Edward. The yard manager reluctantly agreed. Hmm, doesn't seem too happy about it, though. I don't know who that was, but hello to that engine, I suppose. Really like how Carson is a and his team are able to uh, capture what the beauty of the models, the older series, right there. At first, no one noticed the flatbed coupling break. Edward thought it was a Ooh. bump in the track and uh -oh. steamed cheerfully on. Oh dear! As for the guard, he was too busy in his van doing a crossword puzzle. They hadn't gone much further when... Look out! We've lost our train! Yelled the fireman. In a panic, the driver slammed on the brakes. Ooh. This was a big mistake. That's a big mistake! That's sure to have broken Edward's the light crew right got there. out to survey the damage. And the guard staggered from his van to join them. Why what was happened? he doing a crossword? It felt like the express ran into us. The fireman carefully prized open the crate with a shovel, and the three men peered inside. As a fault, said the driver gloomily. That jolt damaged the bulb. It shattered to pieces. Oh no. On the bright side, that's given me ten down. Shattered, grinned the guard. Never mind your crossword, snapped the fireman. Let's go before another train really does run into us.
Edward cautiously puffed back the way he came. He hadn't had an accident like that for years, and he felt rather shaken. Oh. Our fault! exclaimed the yard manager when they returned. That old flatbed was waiting coat. for repairs. Stupid shunter didn't notice till after you left. This made Edward feel a little happier. A replacement load was quickly organised. Do take Stop care of that blue one, livery right there, the manager, the railway series. as Edward steamed away again. Now, Edward may have been in good spirits, but he was still an old engine, and tired more easily than his friends. He'd already travelled a long way that day, and yet seemed to have gotten nowhere. All this toing and froing, he yawned. Normally I'd have finished my afternoon passenger run. I'll be taking a nap around now. Edward closed his eyes. Only for a Why few you... seconds. In an instant he felt himself swerve over some points. Oh, the train rattled no. down a bumpy overgrown siding. Oh no, don't tell me it's going to happen again. Ouch! cried a small voice. No need for that! We're not being troublesome anymore! Right in the middle of a lovely dream too! Edward had run into some old trucks. What is Sorry this to place? disturb you, said Edward. You can go back to sleep now. I wish I could. Should we check inside again? The fireman wondered. Don't bother. I heard glass breaking as we stopped just now. <laughs> I think we all know what that was. Oh, God. Not again. The driver again. reversed Edward down the siding. Sorry, old chap, he sighed. It looks like back to the yard again. Edward groaned. But it really was my fault this time. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off the track. Rubbish. It's that blooming signalman I'd like to have a word with. He can't have been expecting us. They reached the junction and had to wait. Sometimes I wonder, Edward Huff to no one in particular, how much simpler things would be if we engines could set the points ourselves. Hey, be careful That's what you it. wish for, chuckled his driver. Things are not going too well for Edward, it is. Shows about his age. Broken? Again? I see. The yard manager looks dismayed to see Edward back so soon. He disappeared into his office looking pale and muttering something about costing the railways a fortune. Even so, the workman dutifully set about loading Edward's flatbed once more. All this trouble to change a light bulb, chuckled one. Can't they make do with a candle for now? Edward didn't laugh at the cheery banter. He hurried off as soon as the guard signalled. It was getting later and later in the afternoon. All Edward wanted to do now was be with his friends. He knew he had to finish his job first. Let's hope for no mistakes this time. Finally. Hurrah! cheered Edward. There's Brendan Docks ahead. We'll be on the coastal run in no time now. But the docks were very busy. Oh look! All the fruit tracks we were got blocked. salty whole tea and we got diesel 10. Speaking of which, I wonder what's go Where is that diesel 10 model right there, Carson? Garson, you, you teased you were going to release it years back. With engines, keen to have their trucks loaded. Edward had to wait behind Percy on the inside line. He was collecting to. more fireworks for the display. The dock men were being very careful release? and taking a back long in time. I want to know when Hurry it's going to release. Hurry up, Clanky! James snorted. I need time to have a wash down before the party tonight. Huh? I didn't even get an invite to this rotten party. Cranky retorted and seemed to slow down even more. Rosie cut in to stop the argument. Hey, Rosie. What are you collecting anyway, James? She asked. A power generator for the refreshments tent. I expect it'll be very big and heavy. Now trouble for me, of course. At last, Percy puffed off, and Edward made to follow. Neither got very far, and Percy stalled suddenly in a huge burst of steam. Sorry! Ooh. He called back to Edward. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. 
Then, there was trouble again. Edward had stopped right alongside James. Just as Cranky swung around with his oh, lung. No. James was right. It was very big and heavy. What have you done? Shrieked James. I'm over here. Bah. You. you oh, not again. Done. Shrieked James. I'm over here. Bah. You useless little bugs all look the same from this height. The crane grumbled. Salty shunted Percy away to a siding, while Cranky transferred the generator over to James's train. All that remained on poor Edward's flatbed was a mess of splintered wood and broken glass. Oh my, sniffed James. That's not much of a special special, is it? Oh, he's going to set Edward off. Perhaps it was lucky off. for James that Edward didn't hear him. It's not gone well for him whatsoever. Much to Edward's surprise, the yard was now empty. There were no people or engines about at all. They must have all gone home early. That's a relief, sighed the driver. Let's get this loaded quickly and be on our way. Presently, Edward felt water drumming on his dome. His crew had just finished as the rain began to fall heavily. Oh, that's all we need, Edward groaned. How could such a simple job turn into such a disaster? His driver tried to rally him. Now don't let it get you down. Everyone has a run of bad luck like this sometimes. No matter how old or wise they are, yep. added the fireman. You're right, puffed Edward. I've beaten worse than this before and I can do it again. One more try. The old engine gritted his Come gears on. and bravely headed Come on, Edward, the Edward, you can do it. We know you can. Yeah, this episode's going to probably take me over my hour of recording it is. I really love the scenery and some of the models seen in this. Edward made it makes me want all the models mishap. seen in this video to go By public. By the time he reached the coastal track, the weather had brightened up. Good, he thought. Any more rain and the party might have been cancelled. I hope the others are enjoying themselves. Edward knew now they were going to be very late. But that didn't seem to matter anymore. Instead, he marvelled at the picturesque seafront scenery rolling steadily by. It was a view he didn't get to take in very often. At last, the red and white striped lighthouse loomed large in the distance. Hooray! Oh, did you see that little turn animation right there? Oh, that was so cool right there. Did you see the, the way he just turned the figurine? The anxious lighthouse keeper greeted them warmly. Oh, thank you, said the keeper. I thought you weren't coming. But we had uh, one or two delays on the way, grinned Edward. Nothing too serious, though. The keeper helped the men unload the crate. There, he said. All that's left now is to get this great heavy thing upstairs. Two hundred steps on that last coat. Edward's driver and fireman looked at each other, sighed and shrugged. We'll give you a hand if you like, offered the driver. Oh, would you? Oh, that's very kind. Carefully, though. You should always Most help people. break very easily. Edward's crew chuckled knowingly as they followed the keeper inside. Meanwhile, Edward dozed as he waited patiently in the golden evening sun. I may have missed the party, he told himself, but I'll sleep well tonight knowing that lighthouse is there to keep boats like that one safe at sea. Mm -hmm. It was dark by the time they set off for home. Edward crawled wearily up Gordon's Hill, thinking of his nice cosy shed. But as he reached the crest, he suddenly screeched to a stop, amazed. Come on, Edward, called the driver. We're all tired, but this is no place for a... He trailed off and stared out at the cab. The night sky ahead was lit up with flashes of every colour imaginable. He didn't miss the party after all. It was all. the fireworks display. He did not the miss the party. The fireman poked his head out too. Oh, he exclaimed. 
This must be the best view on the island. Definitely is. The fireworks weren't the only reason he'd stopped. Was shining the brightest of them all were the beams from the Sodor lighthouse. The video was so thank you for watching. Wow. Wow. What what a story that 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 was right there. Who knew a simple job could turn into such an adventure for Edward? It could cause him to go back and forth, forth from, uh, from, 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 I mean, seriously, who did? Edward was seeming to be getting cl so close so far. He was right there, but every time he thought he was getting close, a mishap happened. But Edward didn't let it get him da down. He did, and in the end, he did get to see the firework disp display from the top of Gordon's Hill right there. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Series 11 episode, Thomas and the Lighthouse House. But obviously with Edward taking the role of it right there. Right there. So, yeah, that's what it definitely reminds me of with the, with the whole Lighthouse thing right there. I just, I just absolutely love the soundtrack of this video. There was, you know, the scenery and not to mention the models of some characters right there. Oh my god, you had you had Molly, you had Wilbert, you had Sir Handel, Stanley, you had Billy, Whiff, Whiff, hell, you even had bloody Diesel 10 right there. Speaking of which, Carson did promise that mo the model would be released way back in 2020, which I so, so, so hope that's the case. You even had Rosie, definitely seems it was if it was written as a hit error episode, it was. <laughs> was, because with, you know, Edward's hit error face marks being used. But wow, that was definitely a remaster of a old video right there. I definitely enjoyed it. Seeing that Diesel 10 model makes me one will have me one request. Request. Can we have a Diesel 10 story with that Diesel 10 model right there, Carson? Because I would love to see if that's the case right there. Right there. Would love to. I definitely would love to see to see it right. That Diesel 10 model right there. Just look how good it looks. But that is probably where I'm going to leave it here because I've gone over my hour of recording I have. So, so well done to everyone on this video right there, particularly you, Carson. You re managed to recreate every aspect of this old video and it definitely showed right there your dedication to it. Suddery Station Marcel, great job for your narration as always. Grace, does this mean you've, does this video mean you've joined Sodor workshops you have? Probably, probably that's the case, but... Seeing all those models makes me want to see them public, I do. Currently, they're only available via Carson's Patreon, but I want to see them public. Sodor Workshops has not released anything on their website for nearly over two years, which is the George the Steamroller model. I really, 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 really want to see... want to see... see Sodor Workshops release some of these models to the public right here. They're just... they're just too good! Just too good! Uh, just ignore the background noise right there. Uh, they're just too good to be kept private fit. They deserve to be public right there. This is why I love Soda Works within the Southern Industries right there, because they both put so much dedication into their models they do right there. And honestly, it's difficult for me to choose. If I ever started doing my own Trains Thomas content, I'd probably use a mixture of the Soda Workshop models and the Southern Indu Industries models, just to give a bit of, you know, a bit of variety. That, at least that's in my opinion. Sadly, I can't comment down on this video because YouTube marked it for kids. Thanks a lot for, for that, YouTube. But I'm going to, but I'm keeping all the praise on Carson and Suddery Station Master right there. Well done, Carson, for recreating every aspect of this video. And well done, Suddery, for your good narration as always. Hope to see you hear more of your narration in some of these, not just in your videos, but also on the video workshop, but also on other stories as well. Really can't wait for that. But I'm going to leave it there. It's 4.29. I've gone over my hour of recording, so... If you really, I really enjoyed this story as always. Want to check out my previous um, Thomas reaction when there was an audio story or a trains adaption like this? I'll play this up in the top right corner of your screen right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this story I reacted to. 
Also know in the comments down below what other videos, excuse me, you want me to react to next. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, links to both of them will be in the description down below. Share this video, subscribe if you're new here, ring that bell to get notified when I upload new videos, when I post in the community tab, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!